Well, I'm with the victorious manager, Whitley Bay. Ian, how does it feel to, to be on this bus? Oh, it's brilliant. I mean, the fans are fantastic. The were last week, and the same this week, they've come out. You know, I think there's a couple of, well, four or five hundred in the town centre in the round. Yeah. You know, everywhere we go, they're coming out of the churches in the pubs as well, so can be bad. I mean, obviously, you've had a little bit of time to reflect on last week. I mean, you must be delighted as a manager. Have you sat down and watched the video again? No, not yet. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still waiting for it. I'm still standing it's been hard to get, no, they've uh, said the centre to them, but they're going to gonna have them to us early next week, so we'll, we'll have a sit down and watch. I've seen highlights on the web and stuff, but uh, the full day was, uh, like, to be safe, because I you know, flew, yeah. by, flew by last week. Uh -huh. The most pleasing thing for you must be as a manager to put on a performance on the big stage. Definitely, and that was it. That was the worry. You know, like, what's the real lads who might have thought, might have froze a bit, but they didn't. They all played brilliantly, you know. Everyone, even the, even the, the lads who didn't get changed, were fantastic. So, it's a good day all round. Uh -huh. And for the North East as well, to bring a trophy back, you must be doubly proud. Well, that's it. I mean, obviously, I was in Newcastle on Monday, and they, they did well and won 3 1. So, <laughs> you know, it could be good to them as long as Sun and get a point this afternoon or three would be better. But, uh, you know, it's just all uh, good. Uh, you know, everything's brilliant at the moment. Yeah, and, uh, it's important for the North East for Sunderland and Newcastle. Yeah, so, isn't it? yeah definitely. Yeah, I've got, I can't argue with that. You know, as long as Sunderland stop us first, Newcastle will come in for both of them. I've no problems with that. And uh, as a man who scored a winning goal at Villa Park, do, do you hope someone does that for Newcastle next week? Uh, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got no qualms. As long as, uh, as, as Sunderland's safe by then, then. Uh, you know, we're, we're happy for Newcastle to get a win next week as well. Uh, and, and next season for Whitley Bay, you, you got to go back and win it, do you think? Or? Well, uh, obviously it's a challenge. Yeah. Chairman's, chairman's demand in the league, the league title and uh, <laughs> no Peter's, Peter's demand in the bars. So, you know, double, double header wouldn't go and miss next year as well. Brilliant. Cheers, Ian. Well, obviously, we're on the open top bus now, uh, Whitley Bay, celebration's still going on, despite what's happening up the road at Newcastle United, but uh, the players thoroughly deserve all of this, I mean, they put in a magnificent performance last week at Wembley, and, uh, you know, as, uh, as someone who goes and watches Whitley Bay play regularly, they've really done themselves justice, because a lot of uh, teams turn up on the big stage in the, in the freeze, but uh, Whitley Bay didn't do that, they turned up last week and put in performance at any that was fitting for the for the Wembley stage to be honest and it could have been almost like 4-5-0 which was which was the great thing about it and uh, it's an unbelievable amount of people that have come out today to, to watch to, just to watch the last parade of trophy you know we're not used to we're not used to trophies in the North East especially on Tyneside but uh, absolutely magnificent and uh, as we're going along the North Sea here and you know a lot of people talk about Newcastle well as being one of the best places to live and this is why you know